Hello everyone, and welcome to a different kind of video. Um, this is going to be a rant video about the F1 community on uh, YouTube, um, as you probably guessed by the title. Um, over, over recent days, I've realised that Codemasters releasing the game early to bigger YouTubers, like for example Team at and Canarava, and all those people, all those guys, it kind of defeats the purpose of uploading a career mode for smaller YouTubers like myself because all the hype goes once the game is released because they all had it a week before they all managed to start their career mode a week before so by the time the game came out and I started they were already halfway through a season so it just doesn't make sense to me and as you can see here by proof of example my first episode right was 53 views which is alright for my channel size, right? But suddenly, the past two videos, they've been awful. Now, maybe that's because the hype for F1 has already gone because of all the bigger YouTubers, um, you know, up uploading their career modes early and all that. And I just don't understand. I just I don't understand why Codemasters do it. There are more YouTubers out there that do F1 F1 game content than just the guys that they have at their office doing beta testing and all that. And I'm going. I'm now going to go to um, Tom's channel or Fox Two Ninety Eight um, because he's, he's allowing he's allowing me to do this. So I just want to thank him for that. And um, this is basically like I mean, look at his views. You know, it's only just about getting over one thousand views for a channel that has over fourteen thousand subscribers. That's not very good. I mean, no offense, Tom, but it's not very good. And he has recognised this as well. And it's it's really getting on our nerves, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know if anyone else has seen this, but um, if I go to a community post, he posted this the other day, and I'll let you read it. Um, and he's he's just he's not really enjoying it, to be honest. Uh, like he's not really enjoying his career mode because there's not many views getting on it, and he he doesn't really feel motivated to do YouTube whatsoever. Um, you know, so I don't really know what's happening in the community at the moment. I mean, it's just all over the place. Like, I mean, you look at these guys here, right? And if, if I go to Ben's channel, he's... Okay, that's, that's weird. That's a glitch. Uh, like, his latest career mode video. I mean, look at, look at those views, right? And then you go back to Tom's channel... Now compare this. I mean, I know the different size of the channel, but look at that. Less than a thousand views on his most recent career mode video. I mean, I don't see why. I don't see the point in them releasing the game early for specific people. Like it doesn't make sense. Have a closed event for those people, but don't let them use career mode. Just let them use. Just let them do Grand Prix mode or something, or do something with the with the classic cars. Don't give them career mode because it then the hype just goes straight away. Like there probably wasn't even any hype at the launch, if I'm honest. I mean, after all the gameplay that I saw, I wasn't really that hyped to get into career mode because I already knew what half of it was. So it just doesn't make sense to me, Codemasters. Now I know a lot of you in the comments will be like, "Yeah, but they're bigger YouTubers, you know, it gets more press for the game and all that." Yes, I understand that. But don't give them career mode. Just give them Grand Prix mode or something else. Just don't give them like the main, the main thing on the game that YouTubers go for when it comes to an F1 game, because a career mode on F1 is like the biggest thing you can do, apart from like online lobbies and stuff like that with with subscribers. But like, I just don't, I don't understand why, why they would do that. I mean, I even I'm. Even I'm going across the same way as Tom, and thinking that like I might I might even stop my career mode if I'm honest because I'm not really motivated to do it. Now I know there are some of you out there that really enjoy it, and I thank you for that. But I'm just not really motivated to do career mode at the moment. Now next week I am off to the Singapore Grand Prix, so I might vlog the Grand Prix and do something like that. You know, like like Tom did with Silverstone and all that. Um but I I just I just don't know what to do with my career mode if I'm honest. 
Um, if you let me know in the comments down below uh, what, what you'd like me to do in my career mode, then um, fair enough. But I just I just don't feel motivated to do anything with F1, if I'm honest. Like, I'm not even motivated to do online videos, because all the hype is just gone. And online is awful anyway at the minute, because the netcode is just, well, the netcode just doesn't appear to exist, apparently, on the game. But it's just it just really annoys me that all the hype from career mode is now already gone. Because the likes of Team at Marduk, Arava, um, Tom Knight 7 HD, all those people, they're already into like the second season of their career mode or near the end of their first season of career mode. Whereas me and Tom and all the other smaller YouTubers that didn't get a chance to have it early are only just starting or are only halfway through. So it just doesn't, it's just, it's just not fair if I'm honest. I mean, I know that sounds a bit childish to say, but it's just not fair because I'm only doing this for a hobby. Like, I only do YouTube for a hobby because I don't earn money off it because YouTube changed the policy on earning money a couple of months back. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that, but like, I only do this for a hobby, but I still need to be motivated to do it because I don't wake up in the morning and think, oh, I need to do this now for YouTube. Like, I need to actually be motivated to do something with YouTube. And my career mode, at the minute, isn't doing that for me. Now, me and Tom did have a series planned with the classic cars. But I don't think, I don't think with the online at the minute, we're planning on doing that anytime soon. And by the time we do it, the hype will be gone for that anyway. So, I don't understand what, I don't understand. I don't understand what to do to be honest. Um, in the comments, let me know what you want me to do. Um, but yeah, that's it for this rant video. Um, I don't know how long it is. If it's, I don't know if it's very long or like short. I don't know. But um, yeah, uh, I'm sure there'll be follow-up videos off this if anyone actually sees this. But um, yeah, that's my point of view of the F1 community at the moment, and it's just really got to me and Tom as well. So um, yeah. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and comment on what you think uh, the issue is in the F1 community or if there is an issue. And um, subscribe for more and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.